Hello, welcome to Izzy's Tarot. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have been anywhere, but you came to my channel for that. I'm always very, very grateful. Thank you so much. I am going to do a Pisces Love Prediction reading for May 10th through May 16th. Please keep in mind this is a general read. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Don't try to make it your story. Just take what you can from it and leave the rest. In addition, please keep in mind that the energy can go either way. It could be your energy. It could be someone around you's energy toward you. Or it could be your significant other's energy. Thank you so much for keeping that in mind. In addition, if you enjoy my reading, please give me a subscription or a like. I'm always most humbled, most honored, and most grateful if you decide to do that. Thank you in advance if you do. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on with my Pisces for May 10th through May 16th. Thank you, Spirit Guys. Can you please show me? Show me, Spirit Guys. Show me, Ancestors. What's going on with my Pisces? I have five of cups. Two of pentacles. Nine of swords. Five of Wands and Three of Swords. Oh, Pisces. Someone has broken your heart. Oh, Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. I'm so sorry. You start off the reading for the 10th through the 16th with a broken heart. And not only that, um, let, let, let's kind of start at the beginning. Um, you are depressed and you are down and out about a situation or a person. They have, um, they put you in a spirit of, uh, of despair, a spirit of depression. Um, yes, because you start out like that. There are, keep in mind, Pisces, you, everybody goes through things, Pisces. But um, you, um, there are three cups down as you look at this card, but there are still two cups up, which means that Pisces, come on, you can pull yourself out of this situation. This must not have been the situation that the universe wanted you to be in. So this is what has happened with this situation. But see, you are juggling also. You're juggling your thoughts. And I think you're juggling because I think this person is no longer around you. And I think what you're juggling with is that should you let them come back, or should you let them keep moving and move on? You have that five of cups there, like I said, which is despair and depression. But you are juggling this situation. You're trying to figure out, should I let them come back? Uh, should I, um, you know, what should I do? Or should I just leave them where they are? Oh, your head space is out of whack. Uh, you, you can't sleep. You can't eat. You're having depressing thoughts. You're, you're just in a, your emotions are, are, are out of whack. Now to, to top this all off, man, you've also you're also arguing with them. There's been conflict there. You're going back and forth. And I think the back and forth is because they want to come back. And you're like, I don't think so. I really don't think so this time. <clears throat> I think this is this is just you're saying, I really, really don't think I don't know what they did. I'm gonna keep reading to find out. But you're saying, I really don't think so. And it's really, really hard because you did love them. Perhaps you've been with them for a while. I don't know. But you're, 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 you guys are battling back and forth. And the last card is that you definitely have a broken heart. Now, the Three of Swords means a broken heart card. But it also could mean that there was more than one person that was involved in this situation. Maybe you were with someone that someone else or that someone else was in the situation as well. And that's what has happened and that's what's broken it up. But you've forgiven them in the past, but this time, I don't know. I see it being different. So if you could, give me another three to five minutes and let me clarify the cards. Just take, just give me another three to five minutes. Let me clarify this reading for you so I can make sure I'm giving you the right story. Let's see, why is this Five of Cups here for my Pisces spirit, guys? Show me why the Five of Cups is here for Pisces. Show me, spirit, guys. Clarify this. Why is the Five of Cups here for Pisces? Yeah. Oh, thank you, spirit, guys. I'm reading exactly what has happened. There has been deception here. And see, and, and the thing is, Pisces, and I'm very sorry, but I, I'm always also kind of glad that you're having, you're holding your ground. You've got, you're, you're no longer being kind of letting them walk over you because the five of cups here is death is despair is being a, a little, uh, depressed in that state, but you are that way because they've deceived you again with someone. They've been trying to be slick again with somebody else. They've deceived you again. And I don't think you're taking it this time. I think you've had enough of it. 
Let's see why the Two of Pentacles is here. They want to come back, though. They do. Because you always let them back. Let's see why this Two of Pentacles is here for my Pisces. Show me why the Two of Pentacles is here for my Pisces. <clears throat> Show me, Spirit guys. Ah, this could have been a husband. The King of Wands. This was someone that was in a leadership position in your life. And like I said, they want to come back. You are juggling this because they are your husband. Or they are have been around for a while. Or they are in a leadership position in your family. That's why you're juggling because it's hard to let those things go. But you know that you can't keep taking, taking the deception over and over and over again. You can't do that. You've had enough. Enough of it. So let's see why the Nine of Swords is here for you. Spirit guys, can you show me why the Nine of Swords is here for my um, Pisces? Show me, Spirit guides. Huh. You are communicating. <clears throat> you are communicating. The Nine of Swords means, or what I have seen, perhaps you've seen some things through their communication. Perhaps they've posted some things, or you've read some text message, messages about something going on with someone else. Perhaps you've seen some things through Instagram, or um, just texts, or phone calls, or messages, or, you know, uh, things that you've seen with them, and it's caused you to be with another person, and it's caused you to have a negative headspace. It's caused you to put you, it's put you in a state of just, I don't understand why. That's what that is. That Prince of Swords means that you've seen something, possibly, with communication with them and someone else, and it's caused you to have a negative headspace. You just can't understand. You're having a negative headspace about the situation. Let's see why um, the Five of Wands is here. Why are you in conflict with them? Show me, Spirit, guys. Why is the Five of Wands here? Huh. <sighs> You're in conflict, like I said. See, this person is telling you they're pulling on your heartstrings because they know that you guys have been on one accord. You've been on, when I say one accord, you've been in the same energy before, but now you're not. But you have been in the same energy and they want to come back. You've been in the same energy before. That two of cups energy is an energy of being on the same page, of doing things together, holding hands, maybe just having the same heart space. That's what that two of cups is. And that's why it just makes it so hard to let this situation go. The five of wands means you're having conflict because you know what it can be like. You know, when it's good, it's good. When it's not, it's not. It's horrible. But when it's good, it's, it's, a, it's a feeling of euphoria. That's what you have with this person. And that's why you guys are conflicting because they, are, they want to come back. They're asking to come back. You've let them back before. But like I said, I see this situation as being different. But let's see. Let's see. Why is the three of swords here? Spirit guys, for my Pisces. Why is the Three of Swords here different from Pisces? Show me why the Three of Swords here is here. You showed up in your own reading, Pisces, because you are confused. I'm so sorry, Pisces, but you're confused because you know why. Like I said, you've had great experiences with this person. This is not just an everyday, ordinary person. You, this person has been around you for a while. You have the Five of Cups at the beginning. I'm going to pull an Angel Oracle card and see what the Angel is going to tell you. You have the Five of Cups, which means you are depressed because someone has been deceptive again to you. Once again, someone has been deceptive. I think I read the same thing last week. But someone has been deceptive again. Two of Pentacles means you are juggling your thoughts and your situation. You're trying to think, should I let them come back? Or should I leave them alone? But this person is a husband. Or this person is um, someone that is a leader in your family. They've been around you for quite some time. You're in your headspace now because I do believe you saw something. You saw something, maybe a text message. Or maybe some text messages towards them and someone else. It's really hard and difficult. You guys are, are conflicting because... You know what it's like when they are on the same page as you are. You know what it's like when you have that Two of Cups ex experience with them. You guys have been Two of Cups for quite some time. When I say Two of Cups, you have loved each other. You've had the same um, heart space, the same mind space toward things. You have been around, but there's conflict now because they're trying to come back and they're trying to pull on your heart strings of what you have had together. Then you have the Three of Swords, which means, Three of Swords means you're heartbroken, heartbroken, excuse me, Pisces. You have heartbreak with this situation and you are confused about it. This is your card, the moon. You are confused about it because the Three of Swords um, is saying that your heart is broken about this situation. 
um, your heart is broken. Um, and there could be more than one person, which I strongly believe that this is a cheating factor here. There's possibly more than one person. Let's see. Let's see what, what the angel oracles have to say. Let's see what the angel oracles have to say. Ah, uh, let's see. Okay, let me get my cards right. Well, they say reconsider. <sighs> okay, they say reconsider, Pisces. I have to tell you what they say. They say reconsider. Perhaps this situation is not completely over yet. They say reconsider, but I, like I said, Pisces, it's up to you. 